We now come on to the finish of the swing, an area of the swing that a lot of people regard as an afterthought, but it shouldn't be. Let's show you why. I'm now going to demonstrate three basic finishes to the golf swing. I'm going to start with the half finish with a pitching wedge. Without a backswing, simply take the club through the ball, focusing on keeping the radius of the arms in relation to the chest, and also noting how the club face remains square to the turn of the shoulders as you move through into the half finish. I'm now going to show you the three-quarter finish with a six iron. From the starting position, move the club through directly into your finish, again maintaining the radius of the arms in relation to the body, making sure the club face also remains square to the shoulders, and just move through into a slightly fuller finish than you had with your wedge. You'll see there at the end of the swing that the elbows are together, pointing down towards the ground. I'm now going to show you the finish with a driver. Obviously with the extra length of the shaft and the speed of the swing, you'll see a much fuller finish with this club. Note how the club face once again remains square to the turn of the shoulders and the radius of the arms maintained and the body pulled round fully into a completed finish. Here I'm going to show you what we call the fake finish. As I go through the ball, you'll notice that the wrists are rolling dramatically, closing the club face. The arms are collapsing and there's absolutely no move movement of the right hand side of the body, a very static lower body position. The club is then thrown over the player's left shoulder and although the player appears to have turned nicely towards the target, you can see he's hit off the back foot with a total collapse of the arms. When he brings the club down in front of him, he'll see a violently closed face. Here I'm going to demonstrate a discipline for you that we try and drum into all our students at the school from a very early stage. And it shows the correct way of finishing the golf swing. From the three-quarter finish, you can see how I've dropped the club down to waist high as my eyes follow the ball. I now can glance at the club face to make sure that it's remained at right angles to the shoulders, the perfect finish position. 